stressed. That is how I am feeling this morning because the holidays aren't the most jolly time of the year. No, they are the most stressful time of the year and it is all kind of hitting me this week. I just feel like I have so much work to do for my real job and YouTube and I spoke about this a little bit over Thanksgiving where it's just really hard to plan before a holiday because you know people are going to be off the surrounding days, so I know I can't interview people on Christmas Eve or Christmas. They're probably gonna even start disappearing on Wednesday, and so it just makes things stressful. Like, I need to get everything done so soon and so quickly. But it's funny because I really shouldn't even stress that much because the stories that I pre-shot for Thanksgiving and the Monday after both got derailed because of breaking news. So I could have just sat on my butt the days before and done nothing, and it would have been the same result. Obviously, I didn't know that, and I had to plan for the future, but definitely depressing to think about. I feel like I break all of the teeth TV news rules because you are not supposed to, and if I didn't have this in my hand, I'd do the air quotes, not supposed to wear any type of sparkles or shimmer on your eyes or your face. It just doesn't show up great on TV, but here I am putting a whole bunch of shimmer on my cheekbones. Also, my eyeshadow is almost always sparkly. I mean, it's not sparkly, but it definitely is not matte, which is like the recommendation, but personally, I think this looks best and um, we're gonna keep doing it. And then another stressful thing this year, is gift giving because if you guys remember last year, it did not go great. Like it really was not a good time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> <He's saying laughs> I got Zach a very ugly sweater and everyone was like, how did you get him that? Why did you get him that? The poor guy. But honestly, what happened was we were looking at things online and he showed me that exact sweater and said something like, oh, how cool is this? Or how dope is this? And I made a mental note. I'm like, oh my gosh, he wants this for Christmas. This is gonna be perfect. Like, wow, I can't believe I got my shopping done so early because it was like at the end of November and I didn't realize that he was kind of kidding and he wasn't serious and I know I'm an idiot for not picking up on sarcasm but I have my blinders on wanting to get him a good gift. He's <laughs> You guys can see I actually have all of his gifts right there. They are wrapped with my five pound dumbbells, don't mind that. These ones are his gifts. This is for his niece and nephew, which I ran out of wrapping paper, so I have to get more for hers. But let us hope there is something underneath this wrapping paper, all of this wrapping paper, at least one thing that he likes. And Zach is the type of person who genuinely appreciates and likes things. Like he gets so excited about items where, for example, like if I have a package in our package room, like something got shipped to me, I could wait like four days to get it. Like I just, I'm like, ah, yeah, cool, okay, like whatever. I don't really get excited over things. I mean, sometimes I do, it's just, I don't know, I, I, I could always wait. When Zach gets a package <laughs> to our mail room, it could be midnight. He will get on his shoes, he'll get on his raincoat, because it'll be snowing, it'll be a blizzard. He needs to get that package and he gets so excited. It's great, it's awesome, but he also gets equally disappointed if he doesn't like the item. And when I say disappointed, by the way, like it's not it's not a big deal, but I just, I can tell. Now that you guys have heard me rant about being stressed for approximately five minutes, we are off to a great start this morning. It is time to go talk, oh, come on. I hate when this doesn't fit. What is causing this not to fit? We're gonna go talk about animals. Hey, Sheila, a lot of us won't be spending Christmas with our families this year, but that's okay, because all we have to do is take out our phones. We've got FaceTime, we've got Zoom, texting, but the problem with pets is they don't have opposable thumbs, so they can't do FaceTime, they can't do Zoom. Really what they need is that in-person experience, and that's where we come into play. I noticed you were yawning a lot. Here to tell us about your bedtime last night. Got pretty well last night. Tell us. Probably 1.30. 1.30! Zach went to bed a half hour before I woke up for work, which is so messed up on so many levels. When Zach comes in, I wake up a lot of the times, so then I'll just go to the bathroom. And when I saw that clock, I was like, what was he out there doing? We were watching the Bengals win. But what were you doing after that? And then I watched The Bachelorette. <laughs> Zach went over at his friend's house yesterday to watch the Bengals, came home around like 11.30, woke up, I, I literally, I guess I just don't sleep, woke up again, like we kind of like said hi to each other. I'm thinking Zach's gonna be right behind me going to bed. Then when he gets in at 1.30, I was like, what, what, what's up with that? Like, what were you out there doing? Zach missed The Bachelor, was it the finale? There's a, the finale. Oh, it's on again tonight. tonight yeah. <gasps> Zach missed, <laughs> Zach missed The Bachelor. He had already DVR'd it, so we had to come home and watch it that night. He couldn't wait. He was that on the edge of his seat. 
I wasn't that tired. I was excited for the Bengals game, and I figured might as well have the best nightcap with the Bachelorette. <laughs> and you like Taisha a lot as the Bachelorette. I've never watched the Bachelorette. I can't compare it to anything, but I think she's way better than Claire. Shout out Claire, you sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to interrupt your relaxing, so. Yeah, don't, please. It doesn't get much better than this. I'm getting my work done. Zach is putting the dishes away. It's really nice having you do our chores. Like always? No, so and you get can't... twisted, you two. Oh, show them. They look so beautiful. This is Zach's roommate from college, his freshman year, and they're getting married, Lindsay and Sam. And Zach is one of those, I'd kind of consider it rare, rare people who met his best friend in the world his freshman year as the roommate. No, I mean, I think you are uh, rolling the dice, just doing random roommates. Like, I didn't have a bad roommate experience, but we certainly weren't best friends, which I kind of really liked because, I don't know. You don't want to hang out with you and stuff? No. It's interesting, I had two throughout half the year because there were actually two girls who weren't getting along, nothing crazy, just they just weren't getting along, and I offered, I was like, oh yeah, I can do a switcheroo, like I don't care. Because really, at the end of the day, you're not in your room that much your freshman year of college. You're always out, you're having fun. So yeah, I didn't mind, and both of my roommates my freshman year were awesome, but by no means were we like BFFs where Zach is gonna be in Sam's wedding party. Also, I'm really struggling on the water game today. Whenever I wake up, I drink this huge glass of water and I make myself do it and then when I get back from my live shots I make myself drink another huge glass of water which do you have like a cup to compare like this is so much bigger before I can eat my breakfast just to make sure I'm hydrated and I am struggling fun fact I used to be so hydrated that I failed a drug test by the way I didn't fail technically but it came back inconclusive or diluted and it's when you are so hydrated that your pee is just all water so they told me though for my internship in college if this comes back inconclusive one more time like you just get one more chance you fail and we're not giving you another chance and you don't get the internship which was so stressful I like dehydrated myself for days over it but I used to drink so much water and I'm trying to get back on the water game and Zach was listening to this story because I told him it was great did you enjoy it good. it looks like no time has passed but Zach is shirtless <laughs> now I guess the heat really hit him it's 78 degrees in here that's okay we're all good I'm just finishing up my work when Zach and I just got into a little uh scuffle to say the least because of the, the, <laughs> no, I'm not. the grape situation of 2020. Yeah, she always says I eat only the good grapes and she's stuck with the bad grapes when she has developed a system <laughs> in which all our grapes. This is where our grapes always go and these are the grapes that's actually <laughs> <laughs> She should be eating as well, but she's a fraud and yells at me for not eating them while she's been stashing good grapes. <laughs> Back here, acting like our fridge is so big where I won't notice what she's been doing. I literally was strategically <laughs> like, where would Because yeah. I thought you were too tall to see it or something. Yeah. We're, Zach, but no, <laughs> I buy the no, grapes. So I buy. I, you never buy the grapes. I buy grapes and, and toilet. I buy more stuff for us than you buy for us. <laughs> this is such a lie, Zach. I bought 50 million bags of grapes. You never You're buy You're only them. a grape buyer. I buy bananas, Yeah, I'm a grape buyer. Thank you. Toilet paper. These are the ones. <laughs> You were dish detergent. I didn't buy those. I know I, I did. Yeah, you and eat I bought your them. <laughs> yeah, eat your crappy grapes. Those are my eat, eat your crappy ones. If you don't look at the bag, if you don't you have a time, grape in your cheek. If you don't take the time <laughs> to look at the bag, you can eat them. I bought those too, so thank you. Yeah, they're great. Zach, these ones suck. <laughs> yeah. Ones. Yeah, and I also bought great ones. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you never buy grapes. <laughs> and fun fact, they're the most expensive. You're a fruit. fraud. <laughs> I buy grapes for us all the time, and I buy your tuna patties for you. I don't eat tuna. Bye. Your salmon patties. As you can tell, living together is just a really difficult time in our lives. Um, it's not working out. Well, you're playing with them. You're not even eating them. You want to juggle? No, you didn't even waste three. <laughs> They're a hot commodity. Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're wasting three perfectly good grapes. I'm, I'm going to eat them. Are you ready? <laughs> oh! Okay, fine. You can have them just for that, for that entertainment. <laughs> I turned the camera off, but I have a confession because I'm running out of places in the fridge to hide them, obviously, because it's not a very big fridge, and I was thinking, can I buy myself a mini fridge <laughs> with a lock? <laughs> I genuinely had that thought today when I was at Kroger. Oh. All right. And then I'll never buy you a thing ever again. You never really do. I do all the time. Not very often. It drains my bank account. <laughs>
The thing is, I do want to be clear, this really has nothing to do with money for me at all. I, for some weird reason, I'm very frugal with a lot of things, but I'm not cheap with food. I mean, obviously I don't go to fancy dinners, but like I don't budget like, oh my gosh, grapes. It's the convenience factor. It's me opening up the fridge and then there are no grapes left because Zach the grape monster <laughs> decided to eat them all. I love when people say about and they give like an exact time. It's approximately 8.17. That's what police always say to us for crime scenes. I took a four and a half hour nap from 1 to 5.30. It was pretty great. And Zach and I have made up since the grape incident. He is happy as can be drinking his grapes with his bottle of wine. And Zach, what are you watching? I mean, I'm being interrupted. What are you watching? The Bachelorette. This is Zach and I's thing, we go like that. <laughs> but I can't emphasize enough that this is not a casual moment for Zach. Like he's not like, oh, let me just turn on The Bachelor. He was counting down the minutes for this. And I can't emphasize enough that you're completely distracting me from right <laughs> now, so. I mean, this guy just got dumb, so see you later, the loser. I am just now making dinner. I don't even know what time I'm gonna go to bed tonight, probably like 11. We've got the chicken in the air fryer. Oh, actually, he's looking good. I think we can take him out. Does anyone else give their food genders? Because I certainly do. We have a potato and asparagus. This always happens. And dinner is served. That's your cue, Zach, to zoom in. Wait, I feel like I'm we're literally being way too like jokey fighty in this video that people are gonna think <laughs> our relationship is doomed. But I feel well, like- Well, I'll like zoom in on that. But I, I feel like this is why we get along so well. <laughs> is that why? This is the beautiful dinner. We have some chicken, asparagus, and a baked potato with avocado. It's not too late to check out what is arguably the most festive bar in our area. It's called the Overlook Lodge, and Local 12's Clancy Burke is live in Pleasant Ridge with a look inside at the Christmas transformation. I think there's no argument. It is the most festive, Clancy. Oh, hands down. I mean, it's not every day you can just sit on a throne, but that is exactly what I am doing right now. One might say it is a Christmas miracle. Guys, I don't think you're ready for what I'm about to show you. I am here with Jacob, the man behind the magic, and it is magic. Jacob, give us a little tour of your bar because I've never seen anything like it. So this is Miracle at the Overlook Lodge. We've been doing this for four years and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, this is the place to celebrate Christmas here in Cincinnati, especially if you're looking for that extra Christmas spirit. So come in for some fun holiday cocktails along with as much Christmas decor as we could possibly pack into this place. We've got a dancing Santa. Then you walk through here and you have a throne that you can sit on. This is my favorite seating. Just imagine coming here on a little date with you and your whoever it might be sitting there. I mean, that is so cute. We gotta talk about the outfit. I mean, when you were getting yes. ready this morning, you were just yeah. like, we're going for it. Yes, Christmas, but make it fashion. Sheila, here at the Overlook Lodge, it is always a good time. As I'm getting punched by Santa, I'm standing way too close, but yeah, this is where you're gonna to wanna to be. And if the dancing Santa doesn't do it for you, then just walk right in because it, my friends, is a winter wonderland. I mean, this is a Christmas miracle. Right now, we are here with the man behind the magic, Jacob, who is covered in snow right yes, now. Yes, it's a Christmas miracle. This guy, this guy is basically Santa Claus, and he's crazy enough to wake up at what time on Christmas Eve morning? We woke up at 3 a.m. to get here to spread the Christmas cheer, to make it snow here inside yes! for you, Clancy. Yes! To I love that it! that holiday spirit. <laughs> and you can have the holiday spirit, too. You can have it every day. You just have to embody the Christmas spirit every day, and you can have that feeling inside. You can have that feeling inside every day. It just doesn't have to be Christmas. It can be every day. Help someone out. Help someone out you know. Help a stranger. You can do whatever you want. Just make sure you embody that Christmas spirit every day. I can't. This is what we needed. This is what we all needed. Pop quiz. What are the four ingredients in my chocolate oat? Oh, I just gave you one of them. Well, it's kind of obvious it's brown. My oatmeal in a mug. Oatmeal, cocoa powder, bananas, water. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> And right now, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go buy Clancy a Christmas card. Because you waited until the last minute. He doesn't even love me. And I told him it's gonna take him hours to write, so we're not even gonna be able to open Christmas presents for a while. I mean, I've already written a rough draft, revised it, <laughs> edited the rough draft. I think I've got it down pretty good. Do you wanna know a really big turnoff? watching your significant other write you a love note because that is exactly what is going on right now. You said that's a turn off? Yes. 
Because you, it's. Well, take your turn off self into your room as I'm sitting here trying to pull <laughs> a nice. <laughs> this is going right into the trash. <laughs> you two, are you kidding me? What? Okay, what? allow me to explain. Yeah, how about it? <laughs> Zach and I are about to do our big Christmas gift exchange where we not only exchange our presents, but we also exchange our love notes, as we pretty much do every year. And Zach is doing it very last minute. I, for instance, wrote mine last week. Took a long time to do it, really poured out my soul as I listened to some Taylor Swift music. Meanwhile, an hour before Zach and I exchange presents, he's running to Kroger and just scribbling down random things that he probably doesn't even mean. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Are we friends again? <laughs> oh, I love you. I'm kidding. <laughs> we can never have a nice Christmas, can we? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? What happened last year? You got half-ass gifts and <laughs> didn't try. So That's good. what I mean. I did. If anyone wants to watch last year's vlog, it was just not a good year for Christmas gifts. I tried for the record. It's just my gifts fell short. This year, I'm hoping we can redeem ourselves. We have the gifts under the tree. These are the ones I got Zach. And then these two are mine. Let's do this. <laughs> Look at the way we're dressed. <laughs> what? Because I'm coming from work, I look like an overdressed, like, ooh, gotta go film the video, like, gotta look great, and then you're in your little hoodie. Can you just reach and put the candle, like, just right there? I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> so first things first, how are you feeling right now? Just in general? With everything that's about to happen. I don't know, not very good, because I only got you two gifts. This is what happened last year, Zach. And you got me five, so. No, but two of them are, like, just flat out. Dumb. Yep. So yeah. I, I even regret doing it just because you're just gonna open it and be like, what the heck, but it's just a fun little... No, I think I bought one like really nice thing and one just okay thing and I think because I got the really nice thing I didn't go like sentimental on things, which now I'm like I should have got at least one thing sentimental. Maybe I can surprise you for New Year's or January as a little mm -hmm. sentimental gift. Oh, I would appreciate that. So I don't know if you guys remember last year, I know you do, but Zach had very high expectations for his gifts. He was, his big quote last night, what did you say? I don't remember saying anything. You said he go, gifts. he said he was heartbroken. Obviously he's <laughs> kidding, we were joking with each other, but the quote was heartbroken. Yeah, I guess we'll get started with you first. And by the way guys, I'm redeeming myself. Oh, he's so cute, I, lo I love how excited you do get for gifts. You love it. would like nice things yeah. All right. As he says that, <laughs> he's been sniffling a lot at night. I can't take credit for this. One of my subscribers commented this on my video. Shout out to you That's saying, funny. cause I mentioned in a vlog that Zach like sniffles at night or whatever. And they said, get him some tissues. I went straight to Target, got him some <laughs> tissues. The other one to get out of the way. Write me love notes on the fridge again. This is what we had. I mean, we've had that forever. Yeah. When did um, it break? Did you break it? Yeah, I think it story? was me. Oh. It was always our thing to like write cute notes for each other. I feel like quarantine kind of stopped up a little because we see, see each other so much. I was gonna say because it was a lot of times like, oh, have a great day, and it's like, well, I'm gonna see you in Couple 20 hours, minutes. Yeah. No, those are both good. Okay. Yet another one for me, because I'm just such a giver this season. <laughs> what can I say? I remember when I guessed it last year, I was like, what could it be? And I was yeah. like, this feels like your face lotion. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, it is your face It was. Lotion. Her overstocked face lotion. <laughs> this was the other color you wanted that one time. Yeah, no, these are perfect. So these were my one of my favorite gifts Clancy has ever gotten me. A darker color of these exact shorts. So I know you were debating. Thank you. Between the two colors, and I thought those were really nice. Yeah, and if any girlfriends are watching and don't know what to get your boyfriend for Christmas or birthdays, bird dog shorts are definitely like my favorite. They have like a liner in it, so technically you don't have to wear underwear. So, <laughs> shout out no undies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great gift. <laughs> one for Yay! one. Yay! I seriously, I've been dreading this. So I'm actually going to hate all of them. So it's a whole perfume set. Oh! And I know you still have almost your whole last bottle, but the reason why I was fortunate to get this was Brooklyn, so Colton's wife, works for a perfume company that makes this stuff. So I got it for a discount. How much discount? <laughs> a lot. Like how much? 
it was like 20 bucks <laughs> oh my god that's awesome yeah so oh that's god. why i have like no and like perfume, and i do like, have a lot left but i can, use like, it so sparingly yeah. on purpose like i wish i could use more this yeah. is amazing shout out brooklyn so i went out and saw her and her mom yesterday which was good to see them um <laughs> know that because i had to go pick it up so that's where i was when you texted me you were with another girl yeah it's his best <laughs> friend's girl up Why? i said girlfriend the other day too nice thank you so much um, another one. i'm so giving this to you i don't know i just thought it might look cute on you as a fleece yeah this is a really nice color it is a north face fleece you this too. is great you know i wear this stuff like all the time yeah thank you i almost just said thank you thank you so much <laughs> for not like yelling at me like last year <laughs> yeah, yeah. well here goes nothing. Hope it's sentimental. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> An Apple Watch! Wow! Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah. That's um, really nice. I know you've talked about one before and now you've been exercising a lot again, I think. They're really nice to have. Thank you. Oh, I uh, did you pick this or no? Yeah. Because I really love that. That's <laughs> what I would have picked. Yeah, that's a, no, that, they extend stock pink ones. <laughs> Everyone gets pink. <laughs> Everyone gets pink! <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Some more face <laughs> wash. <laughs> oh, wow. And then that so. obviously is for Cincinnati Sports Club, two months. Oh, wow. So it's 50 a month, right? Oh, yeah. I just joined a new gym, and it's a more expensive gym than what I usually go to. It's got nicer pool. Uh, a nicer pool it's got a pool uh, my old one doesn't i just go to crunch an indoor track and, and different things and he's um, training he wants to do a triathlon so that's why yeah i mean maybe we don't have to call that quite out yet we're, we're, th we're thinking about doing a triathlon <laughs> i still don't know how to swim properly i can swim yeah. but no this is great i just had to do the sign up fee because there's like a like a 50 dollars charge for signing up and things like that so that is very nice it helps me make me not feel quite as bad because it is five times the price of my current gym. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. I would say this was a success with you. Right. Our notes. As as you like Do you it. have your note? That's a table. I mean, that's going to be off, obviously off camera, so we can close this out before you get up. <sighs> wow. What a success. Oh, you didn't buy a card? I actually wrote on it how you how you always make fun of cards, mm -hmm. but you bought me one, but I like cards, yeah. but. <laughs> the stamp thing was seven bucks. Seven? <laughs> yeah, I swiped it. I'm like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I'm like, who is ripping people off this holiday season? The card companies. <laughs> you guys. Jeez, seven bucks? <laughs> That's absurd. You have to look at the price because today when I was picking out Henry's card, there were some that were like Gosh. expensive. Well, I, I wanted to get you the one I liked the best. And I didn't let's see, let's first. see it. Let's see what's worth seven bucks. Well, I don't think was, I've ever seen it. I mean, it was more just because it was empty on the inside. Like it was pretty, but like empty so I could write. You could write more? Yeah. Oh, my wonderful <laughs> life. All I want this is for wife. Christmas. <laughs> my wonderful <laughs> wife. Why'd you get that? <laughs> my wonderful wife. Was, it was the only one that was empty on the inside. That still like was pretty. And then now, if we look back at these memories years later, we're gonna no. think that to my future wife. Oh! <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm excited to read it off camera. You guys can't know about it. <laughs> Overall, would you say it was a much lovelier Christmas than last year? What do you think? Yes, because at this point last year, everyone, Zach would have been actually on this exact couch. Do you remember or no? And then I was like, oh, let me go cuddle with my boyfriend, like Christmas day, I'm about to nap. And I get in there, like how Zach and I cuddle, and we'll just both be on the couch. And I just noticed he was being awfully <laughs> quiet. You didn't come home angry like you came home angry last year. Oh my gosh, yeah. The whole thing was a, a more <laughs> success than last year. Definitely more of a success. So the plan is for Zach to go visit his parents tomorrow morning so we can be there the entire day. And then it's still up in the air what exactly I'm going to do, whether or not I'm going to, because I'm working. So I'll work, nap, and then will I go there that night? Or my brother obviously lives in Cincinnati, so I don't know if I should like stick with him and then go to Zach's parents' house on Saturday morning. I just, I really, it's all up in the air. Called my parents for advice. It was kind of funny. They both gave me, not advice, it's not like it needs, it's not that serious, but I was just like, what do you think I should do? They gave me the opposite advice. My mom was like, you should probably just go to Zach's parents' house on Christmas night. And then her quote was, I was like, what? Everyone's alone this Christmas, so it's not a big deal that Neil is. And then my dad was like, oh, you should probably invite Neil over for Christmas and then go see Zach's family the next morning. And that's just the opposite. If you know my like parents and my family, I was like, what is this? So we'll see. I'll kind of just play it by ear. It's not 
that big of a deal. His parents live like 45 minutes from us, not a big trip at all. Do you have anything else to say, Zach? Is my little Christmas boy happy? I hope everybody has a nice Christmas out there. Oh, it's so Enjoy sweet. Enjoy the holiday season. You're so sweet sometimes when you try. Yeah, when I don't take after you. Peace.